Sean McBride, the 26th of January 1904 to the 15th of January 1988, was an Irish clan na Poblachta politician who served as Minister for External Affairs from 1948 to 1951, leader of clan na Poblachta from 1946 to 1965, and Chief of Staff of the IRA from 1936 to 1939. He served as a Teach Tadala from 1947 to 1957, rising from a domestic Irish political career. He founded or participated in many international organisations of the 20th century, including the United Nations, the Council of Europe, and Amnesty International. He received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1974, the Lenin Peace Prize for 1975 1976, and the UNESCO Silver Medal for Service in 1980. Early years McBride was born in Paris in 1904, the son of Major John McBride and Maud Gaughan. His first language was French, and he retained a French accent in the English language for the rest of his life. He first studied at the Lycée St. Louis de Gonzague. He remained in Paris until his father's execution after the Easter Rising of 1916, when he was sent to school at Mount St. Benedict's, Gorey, County Wexford in Ireland. In 1919, aged 15, he joined the Irish Volunteers, which fought as part of the Irish Republican Army, and took part in the Irish War of Independence. He opposed the 1921 Anglo-Irish Treaty and was imprisoned by the Irish Free State during the Civil War. On his release in 1924, McBride studied law at University College Dublin and resumed his IRA activities. He worked briefly for Eamon de Valera as his personal secretary, travelling with him to Rome to meet various dignitaries. In January 1925, on his 21st birthday, McBride married Catalina. Kid. Bolfin, a woman four years his senior who shared his political views. Bolfin was the daughter of the Irish nationalist publisher and travel writer William Bolfin. Before returning to Dublin in 1927, where he became the IRA's director of intelligence, McBride worked as a journalist in Paris and London. Soon after his return, he was arrested and charged with the murder of politician Kevin O'Higgins, who had been assassinated near his home in Booterstown, County Dublin. McBride was able to prove, however, that he was on his way back to Ireland at the time, as he was able to call unionist turned Cumann na naideal politician Brian Cooper, whom he had met on the boat travelling home, as a witness. He was then charged with being a subversive and interned in Mountjoy Prison. Towards the end of the 1920s, after many supporters had left to join Fianna Fáil, some members of the IRA started pushing for a more left wing agenda. After the IRA Army Council voted down the idea, McBride launched a new movement, SAOR IR, Free Ireland, in 1931. Although it was a non-military organization, SAOR IR was declared unlawful along with the IRA, Cumann na MBAN and nine other bodies. McBride, meanwhile, became the security service's number one target. In 1936, the IRA's chief of staff Moss Twami was sent to prison for three years. He was replaced by McBride. At the time, the movement was in a state of disarray, with conflicts between several factions and personalities. Tom Barry was appointed Chief of Staff to head up a military operation against the British, an action with which McBride did not agree. In 1937, McBride was called to the bar. He then resigned from the IRA when the Constitution of Ireland was enacted later that year. As a barrister, McBride frequently defended IRA political prisoners, but was unsuccessful in stopping the execution in 1944 of Charlie Cairns, convicted of killing Garda detective Dennis O'Brien in 1942. In 1946, during the inquest into the death of Sean Mackay, McBride embarrassed the authorities by forcing them to admit that the conditions in Portlaois prison were inhumane. Topic: <laughs> Clan na Poblachta. In 1946, McBride founded the Republican, Socialist Party clan na Poblachta. He hoped it would replace Fianna Fáil as Ireland's major political party. In October 1947, he won a seat in Dale Éireann at a by-election in the Dublin County constituency. On the same day, Patrick Kinane also won the Tipperary by-election for clan na Poblachta, however, at the 1948 general election clan na Poblachta won only 10 seats. The party joined with Fine Gael, the Labour Party, the National Labour Party, Clan na Talmhan and several independents to form the first inter-party government with Fine Gael TD John A. Costello as Taoiseach. 
Richard Mulcahy was the leader of Fine Gael, but McBride and many other Irish Republicans had never forgiven Mulcahy for his role in carrying out 77 executions under the government of the Irish Free State in the 1920s during the Irish Civil War. To gain the support of Clan na Poblachta, Mulcahy stepped aside in favour of Costello. Two Clan na Poblachta TDs joined the cabinet, McBride became Minister for External Affairs while Noel Brown became Minister for Health. On his ministerial accession, McBride sent a telegram to Pope Pius XII offering less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 to repose at the feet of your holiness the assurance of our filial loyalty and our devotion to your august person as well as our firm resolve to be guided in all our work by the teaching of Christ and to strive for the attainment of a social order in Ireland based on Christian principles McBride was minister of external affairs when the Council of Europe was drafting the European Convention on Human Rights he served as President of the Committee of Ministers of the Council of Europe from 1949 to 1950 and is credited with being a key force in securing the acceptance of this convention, which was finally signed in Rome on 4 November 1950. In 1950, he was President of the Council of Foreign Ministers of the Council of Europe, and he was Vice President of the Organisation for European Economic Cooperation OEEC, later OECD in 1948–51. He was responsible for Ireland not joining the North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO. He was instrumental in the implementation of the repeal of the External Relations Act and the Declaration of the Republic of Ireland in 1949. On Easter Monday, 18 April 1949, the state left the Commonwealth of Nations. In 1951, McBride controversially ordered Noel Brown to resign as a minister over the mother and child scheme after it was attacked by the Irish Catholic hierarchy and the Irish medical establishment. Whatever the merits of the scheme, or of Brown, McBride concluded in a cabinet memorandum. Even if, as Catholics, we were prepared to take the responsibility of disregarding the hierarchy's views, which I do not think we can do, it would be politically impossible to do so. We are dealing with the considered views of the leaders of the Catholic Church to which the vast majority of our people belong, these views cannot be ignored." Also in 1951, Klan na Poblachta was reduced to two seats after the general election. McBride kept his seat and was re-elected again in 1954. Opposing the internment of IRA suspects during the border campaign 1956 he contested both the 1957 and 1961 general elections but failed to be elected both times. He then retired from politics and continued practicing as a barrister. He expressed an interest in running as an independent candidate for the 1983 Irish presidential election, but he did not receive sufficient backing and ultimately did not contest. Topic. International politics McBride was a founding member of Amnesty International and served as its international chairman. He was Secretary General of the International Commission of Jurists from 1963 to 1971. Following this, he was also elected chair 1968 to 1974 and later president 1974 to 1985 of the International Peace Bureau in Geneva. He was Vice President of the Organisation for European Economic Cooperation and President of the Committee of Ministers of the Council of Europe. He drafted the Constitution of the Organisation of African Unity OAU, and also the first Constitution of Ghana the first UK African colony to achieve independence which lasted for nine years until the coup of 1966. Some of McBride's appointments to the United Nations system included Assistant Secretary General President of the General Assembly High Commissioner for Refugees High Commissioner for Namibia President of UNESCO's International Commission for the Study of Communications Problems, which produced the controversial 1980 McBride Report. <laughs> <laughs> Human rights Throughout the 1950s, 1960s and 1970s, McBride worked for human rights worldwide. He took an Irish case to the European Court of Human Rights after hundreds of suspected IRA members were interned without trial in the Republic of Ireland in 1958. He was among a group of lawyers who founded Justice, the UK-based human rights and law reform organisation, 
initially to monitor the show trials after the 1956 Budapest Uprising, but which later became the UK section of the International Commission of Jurists. He was active in a number of international organisations concerned with human rights, among them the Prisoners of Conscience Appeal Fund trustee. In 1973, he was elected by the General Assembly to the post of High Commissioner for Namibia, with the rank of Assistant Secretary General. The actions of his father John McBride in leading the Irish Transvaal Brigade known as McBride's Brigade for the Boers against the British Army, in the Boer War, gave Sean McBride a unique access to South Africa's apartheid government. In 1977, he was appointed President of the International Commission for the Study of Communication Problems, set up by UNESCO. In 1980 he was appointed Chairman of UNESCO. McBride's work was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize 1974 as a man who "...mobilized the conscience of the world in the fight against injustice." He later received the Lenin Peace Prize 1975-76 and the UNESCO Silver Medal for Service 1980. During the 1980s, he initiated the appeal by lawyers against nuclear war which was jointly sponsored by the International Peace Bureau and the International Progress Organization. In close cooperation with Francis Boyle and Hans Kochler of the International Progress Organization he lobbied the General Assembly for a resolution demanding an advisory opinion from the International Court of Justice on the legality of nuclear arms. The advisory opinion on the legality of the threat or use of nuclear weapons was eventually handed down by the ICJ in 1996. In 1982, McBride was chairman of the International Commission to inquire into reported violations of international law by Israel during its invasion of the Lebanon. The other members were Richard Falk, Kader Asmal, Brian Berkusson, Jero de la Pradelle, and Stefan Wilde. The Commission's report, which concluded that the government of Israel has committed acts of aggression contrary to international law", was published in 1983 under the title Israel in Lebanon. He proposed a plan in 1984, known as the McBride Principles, which he argued would eliminate discrimination against Roman Catholics by employers in Northern Ireland and received widespread support for it in the United States and from Sinn Féin. However the McBride principles were criticised by the Irish and British governments and most Northern Ireland parties, including the Nationalist Social Democratic and Labour Party SDLP, as unworkable and counterproductive. He was also a keen pan-Celticist. In his later years, McBride lived in his mother's home, Roebuck House, that served as a meeting place for many years for Irish nationalists, as well as in the Parisian arrondissement where he grew up with his mother, and enjoyed strolling along boyhood paths. He maintained a soft-spoken, unassuming demeanor despite his fame. While strolling through the Centre Pompidou Museum in 1979, and happening upon an exhibit for Amnesty International, he whispered to a colleague, Amnesty, you know, was one of my children. Sean McBride died in Dublin on 15 January 1988, 11 days before his 84th birthday. He is buried in Glasnevin Cemetery in a grave with his mother, and wife who died in 1976. Topic. Career summary 1946–1965 Leader of Clan Na Pablochta 1947–1958 Member of Dale Ayaran 1948–1951 Minister for External Affairs of Ireland in Inter-Party Government 1948–1951 Vice President of the Organisation for European Economic Cooperation 1950 – President, Committee of Ministers of Council of Europe 1954 – Offered but declined, Ministerial Office in Irish Government 1963–1971 – Secretary General, International Commission of Jurists 1966 Consultant to the Pontifical Commission on Justice and Peace 1961–1975 Chairman Amnesty International Executive 1968–1974 Chairman of the Executive International Peace Bureau 1975–1985 President of the Executive International Peace Bureau 1968–1974 Chairman Special Committee of International NGOs on Human Rights Geneva 1973 Vice Chairman, Congress of World Peace Forces Moscow, October 1973 
1973 Vice President, World Federation of United Nations Associations 1973–1977 Elected by the General Assembly of the United Nations to the post of United Nations Commissioner for Namibia with rank of Assistant Secretary General of the United Nations 1977–1980 Chairman, Commission on International Communication for UNESCO 1982 Chairman of the International Commission to inquire into reported violations of international law by Israel during its invasion of the Lebanon Topic. Further reading Keane, Elizabeth 2006. An Irish Statesman and Revolutionary, The Nationalist and Internationalist Politics of Sean McBride. Tories. Topic. References Topic. External links Appearances on C-SPAN